Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be going through a highlight of one of my past live streams featuring the pre-increment versus the post-increment operators in C++. If we had an integer and we wanted to, let's call it uh, int value, there's two ways of doing it. There's plus plus value, and then there's value plus plus. So what's the difference here? This one is called a pre increment and then this is called a post increment. Now you might be asking what the differences are. Both of these increment the value in here by one, but they do it in uh, two different ways. All right, that being said, let's do int i and we'll set it equal to something. I'll just set it equal to one and then I'll define the second integer j. Here I'm going to say j is equal to plus plus i. So I'm using the pre-increment operator. And now we want to make sure and see how the plus plus i affected both i and j. We're assigning plus plus i to j. So if we do that, what would we expect here? Does anyone know what the value, um, what i and what let's see put a little space here and what uh, j are going to be with the post increment operator arif has a guess it's two well let's check and see if that guess is correct and you're right two and two good job so what happened here i was one j wasn't anything, it was uninitialized. And then we did plus plus i. So if we do plus plus i, plus plus means to increment your value. So if we did plus plus one or increment one by one, we would expect j to be two. And of course, i was two, j was two. All right, now that held true. Good job, Arif, you had that right. Thanks for supplying the answer. Let's go ahead and do the second type here. So now instead of plus plus i, I'm going to do i plus plus. So can anyone guess on this one what the value will be for j? I'll let you go ahead and guess that. Also, if you're new and stopping in to watch this stream today, make sure to go ahead and subscribe below so you can follow the C++ beginners tutorial for basic concepts here in uh, C++. Also, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button right now if you haven't already. All right, we have one guess here. AJ says i is going to be equal to two and j is going to be equal to one. Awesome. Let's check that theory out. Let me clear this out so we can see it just a little better. Raise this up. G++ formatting, I needed to make sure to compile before I run. And you're absolutely right. So two and one. So, great job there, Arif and AJ. I think, Arif, you had that right. You just had the I and J backwards. But uh, so we have C out. We're displaying I and J. This time we have two and one, whereas before we had two and two. So why is this the case? J is currently equal to one and I is equal to two. The reason being is uh, when you have a plus plus increment, which is the post increment um, operator, you are actually incrementing this after assigning it. So I've assigned my value. My value was one. So I set J equal to one. Then I post increment, meaning then I actually increment the value of I. So I goes up by one. So that's why I was two and J was one. Whereas with the pre-increment operator, the plus plus i, so let's just write that out. In this scenario, we went ahead and actually first incremented i, then we assigned j. And that's why it came out to 2. It's really nice to know this distinction. Some people get a little confused on that. Um, that's why I didn't want to cover it way too much <laughs> on the operators video. That one went on long enough as is. So I didn't really want to uh, mess with it at that point. 
but hopefully that makes sense to everyone. Thanks for um, AJ and RF uh, contributing there. And if you want to see even more, make sure to check out the live version of this stream. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.